productivity ratio is extremely important factor to consider and you always have to measure it from two perspectives from the employee and the employer okay employer as an organization I will give you an example if you consider someone if someone is working for an organization and you want to see this person as his productivity ratio is it above one or below one or equal to one okay in other sense you want to see if this person is beneficial for the company is he worth the money we're paying him okay is he providing us with amount of work okay as much as we're paying him okay so it's always equal productivity ratio is equal to the output divided by input from the employer perspective okay the input is the wage we're paying him the output is the job employee is doing okay if this productivity ratio if it is greater than one which mean the person employed person is doing a job way more than what we're paying him as worse okay if it is less than one which mean we're paying him more than he deserve okay from the perspective of productivity ratio from a perspective of employee okay is output divided by input output is equal to the salary input work providing is providing which mean if I am employed by a company okay is my productivity is it worth the money I'm getting yes or no if it is greater than one which mean I'm getting a salary more than amount of work I'm putting towards this job if it is less than one I'm getting a salary I don't deserve, which is way less than amount of work I'm putting in this job. Okay, so you have to see it from two different perspectives. It's like from the employer and from the employee. Okay, if I am an employee, I want the ratio to be greater than one. So I'm doing, I'm getting salary way more than I deserve. And if it is a from the perspective of a company, they want it as well more than one. So the the employed person is putting work more than the salary is getting let's do example one calculate the productivity for the following operation three employees process 600 insurance policy a week they work eight hours a day five days a week so this is exercise one okay so the labor productivity is equal policy process divided by hours okay put in so this is from the perspective of employer okay so they're doing 600 policy divided by three people working and each work 40 hours per week so they do five policies per hour a team of worker makes 400 units of a product which is valued by a standard cost of $10 each before markup for other expenses and profit. The accounting department deposits for this job the actual costs are $400, $1,000, $300 for overhead. Is this job beneficial? Yes or no? Okay. Is this job beneficial? Yes or no? So let's see if this job is making money or is profitable for the company. Yes or no? So all what you have to do is to calculate the productivity ratio okay so here we have the standard cost times the standard cost okay divided by total cost okay standard cost is they doing 400 units which is standard cost of ten dollars all right Total cost is 400 plus 1000 plus 300 is 1700. 1700. Okay.
So we have the value here is 2.35. Okay, and before markup, markup usually if you if the item is costing you ten dollars and you say I want to make a profit of 1.5, so you sell it for fifteen dollars. Okay, so this is exercise one and exercise. So we have another exercise. Student tuition fees at Florida State University is $100 per semester credit hour. The state supplements school revenue by matching tuition dollar per dollar, which means if the student pay $100 per credit, the state will pay as well, will match this amount, and they will pay $100 per credit. The average class size of a typical three credit course is 50 students. Labor costs 4,000, material costs 20 per student, and overhead costs are 25,000 per class. What is the multi-factor? productivity ratio for this process course okay so in order to calculate the multi-factor productivity ratio from the perspective of the school it is equal to okay I need to remind you is output divided by input Okay, output as how much the university or the school they're getting as money divided by how much money is costing them. How much the employer is giving them an output by dividing by how much wages they're providing to the uh, employer. It's always, always, always to the employee, sorry. It's always the output divided by the input. Output as how much you're obtaining as work money divided by the input, how much you're paying as wages, uh, etc. So the output divided by the input. The output in this case, we have 50 students per class, okay, times three credits hour per student, okay, plus each credit is 100 paid per student plus 100 paid by the university, by, 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 sorry, per the government per credit. So we have 200 times 3 times 50 students, that's $30,000 per class divided by material. We have the labor, uh, material cost per student and overhead 25000 per class. So we have 25000 plus 4000 plus 20 times 50 students. Okay, that's as well 29 plus 1000, 30,000. So the class multi factor productivity ratio is equal to one. So there is zero profit, zero profit. The amount of money they're paying to run the class is equal to the amount of money they're obtaining. If instructor work an average of 14 hours per week for 16 weeks for each C credit of 50 students, what is the labor productivity ratio? Productivity ratio from the perspective of labor, which is the teacher, okay, is equal. So he is doing 14 hours times 16 weeks. So this is the input he's putting, 14 hours times 16 weeks. Okay, so 224 hours per class. And the money he's making back to the university is $30,000 per class which is similar to this okay so this is on average 133.93 dollars per hour okay and depend here you have to decide as a university how much you pay him as a salary so if you pay him less uh, like 224 hours per class so 133.93 so if you pay him less than this you're making money if you pay him more you're not making money so this is a labor productivity but excuse me, I got this wrong. This is the labor productivity from the perspective of the university. From the perspective of the university. Okay. Because how much money is making them? 133 divided by the number of hours. Or 30,000 30, divided by the number of hours. If it is from the perspective of the teacher. From the perspective of the teacher. The same concept. So he's putting. How much he's putting. It will be number of hours number of hours like how much he's putting divided by how much he's earning so he's earning dividing by his effort okay